So lastly, in light of the, the fact that some things aren't named, um, I have um, a video and a case study that I'm particularly excited about. It's uh, a patient that I saw, and her name is Heather, and she is uh, 51 years old or 52, and she has a condition called Morphin Syndrome. Marfan syndrome is um, a genetic disorder that results in a very um, poor use of connective tissue in the sense that they're, they're basically not connected in any way. They're so loosely connected that when she came to see me, she was in a wheelchair. She could not bear her own weight. It was, uh, it was very, very um, difficult to watch. She was in a lot of pain. And uh, every part of her body, from her knee, as you, you'll see in the video, her knee extends backwards. Her, she is not knee. She has a severe um, pronation um, to the point where her literally her malleoli are touching the ground. And it, without footwear on, she simply couldn't walk. And I'm always big on listening. And that's the number one thing I would suggest everyone should do is listen to your clients and patients. Because what she said to me was, I went to pay less, and I tried on a three inch spike heel, and I could walk normally. So if you can imagine somebody with Marfan syndrome in a three inch heel, it's not something we would recommend. But because she could walk normally with the shoe on, I had to take that and say, well, why is it that she's able to do that? Well, I'll talk a little bit about um, what we ended up doing. We sold her um, a walking shoe, this exact shoe, and built a three inch heel to the, the heel of the shoe just at the heel, which meant that it accomplished what her three inch spike heel did, um, to, uh, to move her center of gravity forward so she could walk without compromising the support and stability of the shoe. And when I went out to my, uh, my lab to see how she, my lab manager was making out with, uh, with the shoe, she goes, oh, I'm almost done. And I looked at the shoe and I went, inches. She thought I said centimeters. There's a huge difference. I'm really hoping you can see this video because it's quite amazing. So this is her without shoes. How tall is she? She's almost six feet tall, but that's classic for Marfan's. Yeah. So if you look at her ankles, see how she's extremely pronated. And side on, she's a genu recurvatum, so the knees are popped right back. This is with the shoe. And I should note also that she requires an orthotic, but she was waiting until her insurance kicked in. So that is just the shoe without an orthotic. No, no, just bringing her elevated address the alignment as well. We still want to put something in the shoe, but that, that was just the shoe, just putting the lift on the shoe. And that's side on and front on. Yeah. Uh, how did your Marfan syndrome uh, client like to meet you? Oh, she loved them. She actually cried. Yeah, because when she came in, she was limited to a walker or a wheelchair, and she, I thought she was going to dance at the door. Yeah, no, she absolutely loved them. And I keep saying to her, if it wasn't for her, sharing her experience, I wouldn't have been able to solve her problem.